Welcome everyone to JavaScript Programming Language Course for Beginners. This video is an introduction to JavaScript. You will also see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this entire JavaScript course. Coming up next are the ESLRs. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs and these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. This video is section 1.4. In this brief discussion, I would like to talk about optimization. JavaScript optimization is definitely a very important topic. There is usually one particular way to do any particular thing, and so we want to do it in the most optimized way possible to that so that our application runs fast. The first website I want to show you is jsperf.com. So go ahead and log into that web website. So jsperf is a fantastic idea. Basically, if we go down to the bottom and click popular, And we'll be able to click on this first one here. So this is what will come out when we click popular. So we have popular test cases. There's a lot in there. Just click on the first one. And this is a test which show you how fast this code runs, the one in red, and how fast this code runs, the one in encircled in green. So if we click the run test, it will do a whole bunch of samples of this test and it will tell me which one ran faster. So it will compile the test and records your browser number. As you can see, it's recorded there. We have some numbers. Those are the run test. So when you write these codes over here, the one in circle, the browser may not be running it. The browser may be optimizing it in some other ways, especially with some other complicated examples. When there are multiple lines of JavaScript, the browser will actually run through and take a pass at optimizing it. And if it can optimize the code, it will. So which means that running this code here, the one encircled in red, versus running the one encircled in blue is not necessarily a fair test because one of them might be optimized and one of them might not be. So ultimately, what we want to avoid doing is taking information from the test here and say, ah, this is much faster than that. It's not necessarily true. There is something else that's going on that you're not aware of. By far, the best case is for you to test it yourself, ideally within the context of your application. So let's go to our console and check it from there. So we have the network area here then you will see all sorts of information about when paints and updates and reflows occur and what happened with your network request you can zoom on into different parts and get a lot of detail about what code exactly took longer and shorter Now, I'm not going further into the developer's tools because this is beyond the scope of this lesson. But there are fantastic resources to the developer's tools that we can look out. And constantly, these tools are getting better and better and better. So, for this discussion of optimization, just remember, above all else, test it yourself. For today's web quest, we will use the internet to search and read about local server configuration.
no, sorry, that should be JavaScript optimization. And for today's classwork, please log into Google Classroom and answer module two. Before I will end this video, I hope that you learned something about JavaScript optimization. Thank you for watching this video.